two academics have written a totally must-read article called Anti-Reflexivity, the American Conservative Movement's Success in Undermining Climate Science and Policy. They start out by looking at the concept of reflexive modernization. It claims, in part, that new social movements will get environmental problems created by industrialization onto the political agenda and keep them there till they're properly solved. Too optimistic, reckon the authors, because this ignores the existence of well-organized and well-funded anti-reflexive groups that are trying to push environmental problems off the political agenda. These anti-reflexive groups love what environmental sociologist Alan Schneeberg called production science, like nuclear and GM, which make some humans powerful and rich. And these anti-reflexive groups hate what Schneeberg called impact science, which counts the cost of human inventions and interventions and speaks of limits to growth. In the 1980s, explained the authors, American anti-reflexives learned that public attacks on green concerns were not always effective or efficient and could cause backlash. They learned to smear impact science as politically motivated and as junk science. This helps create doubt and uncertainty in the public's mind. This then helps anti-reflexive groups exercise what sociologist Tim Lukes calls the second dimension of power, confining the scope of decision-making to only those issues that do not seriously challenge their subjective interests. Finally, the article lists copious examples of how, during the Bush years, climate change was ignored and belittled in four categories, and those four categories are One, misrepresentation, manipulation and suppression of the results of scientific research. Two, intimidation of, threats to sanction, individual scientists. Three, invocation of existing rules or creation of new procedures in the political system. Four, using media balance to get equal airtime for non-peer-reviewed, oil industry-funded spokesmen and non-scientists. This is essential reading. Seriously. 20 pages. Crucial stuff.